Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. It's good to be back. I uh, got a good one for you today. We got the Golden Boy Live, the Fight Night card. I like these cards. Uh, I, I think they're an easy opportunity to pick up easy money. Uh, we're also going to parlay these things. There's And then there's a, a big underdog that I like, potentially. Not guaranteeing. I'm not saying he's a lock. I just really like the odds on this fight. Uh, but before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight, so you had to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The bookies, the odds makers, they don't know what they're doing. I do. Uh, I'm just going to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. I'm losing my brain. Uh, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. It's also a little ticket below. Just $5 a month gets you the lock of the week. I, I, I gave my guys a lock already. I gave my patrons a lock already. It hit. On uh, Tuesday, on yeah Wednesday, I'm giving them another lock, so they're getting two locks this week. Both of them will hit. Gonna make some good money this week, guys. Join the Patreon, five dollars a month. Join the Patreon, five dollars a month. Get the lock of the week. It's get the lock of the week. Get asked to book anything. Get request a video. Get the updated props when they drop. Get the absolute best gambling advice in the world for just five dollars a month. Also, head on over to CarnivoreBar.com. That is CarnivoreBar.com. Get the Nutrition of a steak in the convenience of a bar. That's carnivorebar.com. Use pr promo code BOXING to save 10% at checkout. Carnivorebar.com. On the move nutrition without compromise. The world's only high-fat, grass-fed, finished, grass finished beef bar that replaces a meal while on the move. And stores for years. Carnivorebar.com. Promo code BOXING at 10%. Promo code BOXING at checkout to save 10%. Also head on over to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. Let's get into today's show. Let's get into today's show. All right. This is a, a, an interesting card. There are... Let me just pull up the odds first. because I, I want to go through this with you guys. This is going to be a little bit different show. I'm not asking you to bet on one fight. There's nothing really that you can make a ton of money on in this particular fight. Um, but there are several fights. That, look, Grant Flores. Let's pull up the box tricks too. Let's just take a look at these guys. Because these are mismatches except for one. And we're going to get to the one, which I think might be an interesting upset. If you guys want to roll the dice a little bit, I think there's a, a, a chance. And, you know, Grant Flores, Danny Gar Daniel Garcia is a fighter I like a lot. Um, Tito Sanchez is on this. Okay, these are all easy money. Tito Sanchez pays minus 1,400. Obviously, that's not great odds. Uh, just taking these four bets is going to get you to minus 500. I would take it, and I would bet what I win on Victor Olivo. I like Victor Olivo a lot. Victor Olivo is a, a – he's got a little bit of bounce to his step. He's not bad. He's more than an opponent. He's more than a prospect. I mean, he's more than a, a stepping stone. He's more than – he's a decent fighter. Uh, and I, I just, This is what I want to show you guys. And this is what I mean. That, that, that the odds makers and the bookies have no idea what they're doing. Look, Manuel Flores will probably win, uh, but not – Definitely gonna win. He's the better fighter. He should win. But at minus a thousand, that's telling me this fight happens eleven times. Manuel Flores wins ten of them. I just don't even think that's close. Like this is much much closer than that. I would never bet this. This is a terrible bet, right? At minus one thousand, it just doesn't make any sense to to bet that. It, it's just it's a risk, and it just doesn't pay anything. So. Let me get this pulled up for you guys. Where is my guy? Where is my guy? Victor Oliva, here he is. 21-4-1. One, one. 
Mexican fighter, not your typical Mexican fighter, just lost a, a, a competitive fight to Arhi Cortez. Uh, if we forget who Arhi Cortez is, he's not bad. Like, Arhi Cortez beats um, Gucci Man. He absolutely does. He lost to Nakatani in the, by decision, and he lost a very, very close fight to Juan, Juan Francisco Estrada. Uh, I, I would say Arhi Cortez beats Gucci Man, uh, Manny Flores. This is not a terrible fighter. He lost a very close decision to him. And he's got a, a bunch of, of wins over, you know, kind of nondescript guys. He went to Japan, got destroyed by Fane, but that was back in 2018. I wouldn't put too much stock in that. N nice timing on his counter shots. Good, fundamentally sound boxer. M moves, uses the outside well, moves around the ring, uses some pre slips, keeps his head off the line. He's not the easiest guy to hit clean. Like I said, he uses those pre slips like in a way, not, not to the degree that Regis does, but you know, like that. Yeah, you know, he's not your typical Mexican fighter. He keeps popping out that jab. He's got good timing on his counters, good timing on his one twos. He's a smart, high IQ fighter. He's a really, really decent fighter. Like he's not bad. I, look, um, Golden Boy really likes Manny Flores, and I, I'm not exactly sure why. I, I don't fully understand why. Um, there's nothing really to love about him. He's too stationary. He likes to be at range. He stands in. He doesn't throw much. He doesn't have huge volume. He gets hit a lot. He's not super athletic. His head is on the line. He's pretty slow. He's got good feet. He maintains his distance. Nice jab, gets, but he gets hit too much. Good length, long for the weight class. His hands are slow. He's easy to counter. He's not a huge hitter. His knockout ratio is pretty good. What's his knockout ratio? 14 knockouts and 18 wins. So his knockout ratio is pretty good. But you watch him. You don't see anything special about his power. He's ran up a bunch of wins over nobodies. Uh, prior to that, he's got a draw at Walter Santa. Uh, he's got a loss uh, to Walter Santa Banez. He's got a draw somewhere, doesn't he, too? No, he's 18-1. He's got a loss to Walter Santa Banez. Walter Santa Banez is not as good. I don't even think he's close as Victor Olivo. Like if Victor Olivo fought Walter Santa Banez, I would pick Olivo. Uh, Santa Banez is a guy that's used a lot by Golden Boy. We've seen him a lot. Uh, and he's an opponent level guy. You know, we just saw him lose to Jose Santos, Tito Santos. We, we've seen him before. Uh, he lost to Alex. You know, he's lost to all Rocco Santa Morrow back in 2010. This guy's been around forever. Um, he shouldn't be beating you. He should not be beating guys like that. He shouldn't be beating uh, Gucci Man Flores. If you're that kind of prospect, which Golden Boy likes him a lot, and I, I, I don't understand why. You shouldn't be losing to, you know, 33-year-old Walter Santabanez. It's just it, that's not where we should be. Also on that card, Tito Sanchez, Danny Garcia, guys I like a lot. Tito Sanchez, come forward, strong as hell, pressure fighter, southpaw, relentless, really, really fearless, uh, seek and destroy kind of guy. I like him a lot. Two, two fisted power, uh, has a complete bag on the inside, really good offensive fighter. And Danny Garcia, same kind of thing. Dan Daniel Garcia, pretty athletic, good movement, good power, front foot guy. Offense, also a seek and destroy guy. Big power, good body puncher. Mixes up head and body really, really well. Like, uh, you know, of the prospects that Golden Boy has on this card, like, I don't even think it's close that Manny Flores is the worst. And you look at Flores, you look at uh, Daniel Garcia, and you look at Tito Sanchez. Those guys are all drastically better than Manny Flores. They all win. Uh, probably win by knockout, although I don't have any props on this, so I'm not going to tell you to bet on that because I don't have props on it. Uh, Tito Sanchez, good prospect. Daniel Garcia, good prospect. Uh, G Grant Flores, very good prospect. Manny Flores, ordinary prospect. Victor Olivo, toughest opponent, plus 600. Victor Olivo at plus 600 is not a terrible bet. Um, something I would look at. And I'm not telling you to, to do it. it. I might roll the dice on that is what I'm saying. It, it, again, Flores. Um, Flores should be the favorite. He's probably going to win, but minus 1,000 and plus 600 for Olivo, it, it's just kind of worth the risk. But what I would tell you guys to do is just parlay the other guys. Put, 
Parlay, uh, Garcia, Cabrera, Tito Sanchez, and Flores. Easy money. Take the money. And then either lock that in or put the money, roll the dice, put it on a Levo to pull the upset and have yourself the great a great start to the weekend. All right, y'all. Uh, I am out. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments, well. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Uh, the Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight, showing you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The Bookie, the odds makers, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to show you how to consistently make money. So join the Patreon, $5 a month. Also head on to carnivorebar.com. Uh, use promo code BOXING at checkout to save 10%. The nutrition of a steak, the means of a bar, carnivorebar. Dot com. Uh, it is October 24th, 2024, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Oh. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.